Yeah. So I only have a couple minutes to uh, check out Detroit. Um, my bus leaves in 40 minutes. 40 minutes. So I figured I'd try to get some pictures, some some views. That's really what I want. A nice view of some architecture. Um, the uh, the GM towers. I don't know what they're called exactly, but uh, it's on the other side of that, where the flag is, just to the left of the flag. I think that's the top. Top of one of them. Nice parking garage. I probably shouldn't, you know, I shouldn't go too far. But, bus station is back that way. Greyhound station. Um, gosh, I don't, yeah, I really don't feel right. If I had a whole evening, I wouldn't mind walking around more, um, but I don't. Uh, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I should I should probably turn back now, but I want to keep going. The, the longer I go, you know, the more views I get, the more the more angles on things. I the top of the tower is bent to be discussed. Yeah, okay. I assume that's what TBD means there. To be discussed. As in like disgusting. Gosh, I hope not, right? I would not disgust. Ah. <sighs> I just think that's a bad choice. Bad choice of marketing. Bad choice of uh, it's a bad decision. I don't know what it is like. I really feel I feel about Detroit. Kind of the way that I feel about my home about Alpina. It seems like a small town to me. Much as you would look at it, and, you know. Obviously, it's not small, but still, you know. I mean, you got. I think it's because everything here is built about the same time that everything was built. You know, Alpina. Same kind of architecture. Except for some of the big glass buildings down there. And of course, the GM towers. I, should, I gotta check the time though, and I can't do that with the, uh, with the video on. At least I don't think I can. So, been five minutes. Left 10 minutes, uh, I got maybe another 30 minutes tops. I don't know what. <sighs> I don't want to take the risk of getting too far away and missing. That's maybe I'll circle around. I won't go downtown though. That's more downtown, you know, the big concrete buildings. Let's see if I can kind of zoom in on. I don't know the names of any of these buildings, but yeah, I do 
recognize them from other times that I've been here. I just thought maybe I should give an opinion on what I think of Detroit. I think it still has a lot of potential. That's for sure. It still has a lot of potential. I mean, it says it has a lot going for it. A lot more than. Uh, It's not really fair to compare it to cities that are smaller. Some cities that are smaller are doing better, probably. Growing faster. Uh, money's getting put into them. But, uh, I think it's, there's still quite a bit here. The thing is, I mean, what do you do? What do you do with the building like this? And so many of the buildings, you know, they're a little older. I guess the religious ones, you know, they get a lot of a lot of investors. So we can keep them looking nicer, you know, more paint. I don't know what's going on with that. Just repairing the architecture, you know, and then painting over it. So it still looks old. But, a lot of zip ties. Okay. Um, books. Tempted to go in there buy a book for my trip. I doubt they're open on Sunday. The Greyhound station is right there though. Maybe I'll just check. This video is now eight minutes long. I left at ten minutes after arrival, so twenty minutes we'll say. Uh I got about a half hour to be on the bus. I should probably get, go to the checkout just in case before that. But maybe, I doubt it, but maybe, maybe this place is open. Maybe I can buy a book. No. They have free books though. Free books. More free books, probably. No bags or boxes for free books. But yet, there's boxes up there, though. Oh, they have bookshelves. It's a nice, nice place. I think that might have been my bus. That was the bus that brought me here. No, wait. I think it was. Yeah, it was. That's the bus that brought me here. Anyway. I'm sorry this can't be... I don't know, I just... I don't want to give commentary. I don't feel upset enough about this to, uh... Yeah, I'm good, aren't I? I've got a red light. Oh, my God. Sorry. I ain't got a good one. Um, stay safe. Oh, that's cute. Stay safe. A bus. A lot of buses coming and going. Um on giving commentary on what I think about like this state the 
state of Detroit or the automotive industry or you know some people will take it off of uh, you know the automotive industry shoulders and put the blame on the union shoulders yeah I mean the auto automotive industry they hadn't you know basically ripped ripped off the workers I don't know I can I can see and I could argue I could argue either side I would prefer to side with the union workers though just saying So, but that's the thing, you know, the, without the union workers, the company wouldn't function without the company. The union workers wouldn't have a job. So when the union workers, you know, pressured the company, the companies pull the factories out. Things just, the box of everything goes on. So, new did my boss leave? No. Oh, that's one of those. Works out.